Hi, this is Anupam. Welcome to the inductive position sensor video series number four. In this video, we shall demonstrate how we will use our LX3302A QPW-EZ part to get a more linearized output using our IPC software that will generate n number of calibration points. And this n number of calibration points shall be programmed in an external microcontroller to give you a more linearized output. Now in this video, we shall use this software from the microchip website which you can download and this software is basically using our LXM9518 programmer that is based on pic 18 f series microcontroller. This programmer will use the n number of calibration points from the IPC software and it shall generate the linearized output based on the calibration points programmed. So I have downloaded this software into my local computer and let me go to that zip file. So this is the zip file that has been downloaded and if you go inside this extracted zip folder, you will see a readme document and a dash ez default eprom. This dash ez default eprom is a eprom parameter that has already been pre-programmed in our LX3302 QPW dash ez part. Now I have taken the bench data in my lab using this dash ec default pro and I will demonstrate to you how I will generate the n number of calibration points in our IPC software using this bench data and the dash ec default pro. Let me open the IPC software. Let me go to the analysis tab and load the bench data. Now let me load the dash ec default eprom. Now you can see this is my raw output of the bench data taken with our LX3302 QPW dash ec part. Now this is the section which we will be using to generate an n number of calibration points. So here when I put two LSB, which is almost close to less than 0.1% accuracy, and if I click on this button, get accuracy result, I will get an accuracy of two LSB with 23 calibration points. Now I can use this button, save calibration point, to save my 23 calibration points which will be finally be used in our external microcontroller. Now I have already saved this calibration points. So let me go to the uh, folder where I can show you the 23 calibration points. So if I go into this folder and if I go to the external linearize file utility folder, you can see this user underscore gen. This is the Excel sheet that has the 23 calibration points. Now, let me open this Excel sheet. Now, if you see this Excel sheet, you have all these 23 calibration points. You can see the start slope and the end slope as well. Okay. Now I will use a utility software called external linearize file utility. This utility software will generate a header file from this user gen calibration points in the Excel sheet. So if I click this software, it will ask me to load the Excel sheet. And you can see here the external linearize file header file has been created. Now this header file shall be used in our MPLAB project, which is based on the 18F series microcontroller that we are using our LXM9518 programmer for. Now this external linearize.h header file has been generated using this utility software. Now we shall copy this particular file and we will paste in our 9518 PIC18 project which is this particular section. Let us paste. I already have the header file previously. I just want to replace the file here. As you can see, this file has been put in this 
project for PIC 18 LXM 9518 programmer. Now let me open my MPLAB project. Now if you see this MPLAB project, this is my external linearized PIC 18F project. Now if I go to the external linearized.h file, you can observe this file contains the 23 calibration points which was generated from the utility software. And if I go to the external linearize.c function, the linearize sensor, this function, this transfer function is actually used to generate the linearized output from this calib array, as you can see, uh, that will have the n number of calibration points. As you can see, it takes the number of calibration points which has been generated in the header file and it uses this transfer function to generate the position data using the 23 calibration points. So return the post linear position will give you the final linearized output. So I have built this project and I have generated the hex file as you can see here in this particular path. So pick 18 f production unified.hex is the firmware file that needs to be flashed in our LXM 9518 programmer. Now let me go back to my folder and if I go into this distribution folder into pick FUSP production, I can see this is my final firmware file which has been created from the MPLAB project. Now I shall use a HID bootloader to flash this firmware into my LXM95 programmer. Now for this, first let me open the Terra term and let me connect my 9518 programmer to the PC. Now my 9518 programmer is connected to the PC and when I launch the Terra term, it's asking me for the serial communication. So I shall select the serial with the COM port in which the USB has been plugged in. Now, in our 9518 programmer, we already have a firmware version already pre-programmed when you will buy it from your microchip website. Now, if you click on shift and question mark, this will give you the version of the firmware right now into our LXM 9518 programmer. Now, if I have to go to a bootloader mode, I have to press shift and more than. This will take me to the bootloader mode where I can flash my firmware hex file. So I will close the Terra term and I will go to the IPC software which has a manual HID bootloader. I can also go to the external linearized zip file that has also been given the provision of this HID bootloader. So I can come here and click on this software and you can see here the device has been detected because the programmer right now is in the bootloader mode. Now let me open the firmware hex file in which I need to flash this firmware file. So if I go to this path where my firmware is there, and I need to select this unified.hex file and I need to program this. Now once the programming is complete, you can eject. Now you have been successfully able to program your new firmware into the LXM 9518 program. Now I have flashed this firmware into my LXM 9518 programmer. Now I will use an LXE 3302A L002 linear sensor for my demonstration purpose and I, and I have connected this sensor board to my programmer. This is a linear sensor. This will be used to show you how on changing the target we are getting the different linearized output from the microcontroller. So let me connect the Terra term 
let me connect the serial communication let me make the screen big as you can see here you have the io2 and the io3 one having the send and another having the DAC output so you can see that initially you have as this as the raw output and the right hand side you're having the linearized output right now my target is not moving let me move my target and as you can see you have different positions in which you are getting the raw data as well as the linearized output data so in this way you can actually capture the linearized output from your external microcontroller in this video purpose we have used our lxm9518 to demonstrate this now if i want to revert back my LXM9518 programmer back to its normal state, I should turn my programmer into back to the bootloader mode. So for that, I will press shift and more than. And you can see it stopped ejecting the data. Then I shall close the terror term and I shall go to the bootloader application. And you can see that the device got detected again. Then I shall load my firmware which is there in your IPC folder so inside the IPC folder you have a driver section and LX3633 dongle 1.5 programmer and you can load the 3302 version 17 so you should flash the firmware file and you can eject so in this way i can restore my lxm9518 programmer and to see that i can again connect the terror term with the serial communication and if i write shift plus question mark you can see i am getting back my older version of the firmware so i hope you like the video and you can download this software from the microchip website and perform the same operation in your microcontroller and get the more linearized output. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for your time.